What's up you guys? Today I'm testing out this one dollar mask. Okay, technically it was like one something, but basically one dollar. And I didn't realize until afterwards that it's supposed to be for men. I just didn't realize that until after I bought it. But I don't know what constitutes it to be just a men's mask. Feminists don't at me, I'm just delivering the message. I think it should be something interesting to try out because I actually haven't even tried out a real peel-off mask yet that's supposed to like clean out your pores and like peel everything off. So I'm going to be testing out a lot of different, a lot of different flavors today. Yeah, so let me give you guys a little closer look at it and then let's see. Okay, so the little package like this is just a one-time use mask. You can see, 7th Heaven, Foreman, Spearmint, Flavor, whatever. And as you can see, it's a guy on there. Mm -hmm. It's in like UK flag and like German and something else, I guess. So I think it's from Europe. I found it at a local drugstore. And it just says it's going to peel away dead skin and reveal new skin. Hopefully my new skin doesn't look like a man. It's really jelly looking. It looks like, like a blue toothpaste. It smells like toothpaste too. I burn. Makes you really sticky. I definitely should have brought a wipe over. I don't want to look good on my face right now. Yeah, don't bring it close to your eyes because I feel like <clears throat> my eyes are burning. I definitely feel that spearmintness, like pretty tingly. It's actually getting more tingly by the second to the point where it's, it's kind of starting to sing. And I don't have too sensitive a skin when I put on products, so okay, this is just like honestly starting to hurt more and more. But I'm gonna try to make it last for the 15 minutes that it says. I'll check back. Hopefully, my face doesn't burn off. Okay, I waited the full 15 minutes. I survived. It's not singing as bad as it was. It's definitely <laughs> dried up now. Like, I feel like I can not move my face that much. But first of all, I mean, this color is nowhere near the color on the packaging. Like, to the point where I'm kind of shocked at how much false advertising that is. Anyway, let's peel this off. I'm gonna start here because it's already kind of peeling. It feels like if you ever got glue on your hands when you were younger and like peeled it off, but it's on your face. By the way, if you're gonna do a mask like this, just wear your hair up. Like I can't tell you how many times my hair got stuck in it. Yeah, I guess I kind of see it peeling up stuff. It's kind of hard to tell because the color is, like, mostly clear with, like, a tint of blue. <laughs> there we go. Some of the thicker parts are not perfectly dried yet, like right here. We're getting there. It's basically off. It's kind of stuck in my little baby hairs. I feel like my skin kind of looks better. Let me see my pores and stuff. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it kind of did peel, peel, pull stuff out of my pores, but nothing crazy. Just with the struggles of this mask and the pain. I know beauty is pain, but it was a little much. I don't really think this mask is that worth it. I mean, I know it's a dollar, but I feel like, you know, a couple more dollars you can find better masks that you don't have to struggle through and you can get better results from. So, 
It's a no for me, dog. And oh yeah, and just the fact of how false advertising this is, I mean, whoa. <laughs> I can't trust you. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe for more fun videos, more testing cool things out, more fun makeup reviews, stuff like that. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!